Well, hey everybody, welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. I'd like to take a second and say thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to the channel and all the new subscribers. It's because of you that I keep maintaining this channel and keep creating new content for you. So today, as the title always gives it away, what I am going to show you today is how to pull in older pictures from your hard drives and import those into the Photoshop Elements 2022 Organizer. And we want to do this so as we're importing these that we have it in an album so we can easily find those pictures later. And it's really easy to do. What you have to do first is realize what pictures you're going to import. So if you open up your File Explorer File Manager, I am going to go up here into my Pictures folder. And what I'm looking for here is our trip that we took several years ago um, to Hawaii. Now in here, when I take photos and I'm out anywhere and I'm importing these to my computer, I import them by day. So when you're on a vacation, you might have your laptop with you. And if not, maybe use separate memory cards. It's another great way to do it. But keep each day on a separate card. Then when you come home and import these, you can have each day listed on your computer. As you see here, we have the first morning, which looks like that was a Sunday, a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, Thursday, and then a Friday. So what I'm going to import first for you is we're going to import the first morning pictures. Okay, the very first day we woke up in Hawaii, I, gra I always grabbed the camera. We were out, I believe we were out on the uh, little patio at the uh, hotel, and we were taking some pictures. And I want to import these though based on the day and put those into separate albums so I can easily find my photos. So many times people will show you to import your photos and import your whole vacation into one album, which is okay, but it's not really organized that great. Let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do first is since I know the pictures that I'm importing are from Hawaii, I'm going to go over here to my list of albums on the left, click on vacations, and I'm going to right click on it and create a new album category. Under my folder here, this category, we're going to create a new album category. And it's going to be called Hawaii. Hawaii, we'll call it trip. Hawaii trip. And click OK. What that does, it gives me a nice little folder category down here called Hawaii Trip under Vacations. That way everything's really organized. Taking pictures, especially digital photos, and you probably know this, over time you're going to have hundreds of thousands of photos. The hardest thing I've found ever when you're looking at digital photography is how do you find the pictures that you're looking for? So I always keep them very clean. I want to keep them in the album and make it easy to find everything. Okay, once you have the folder created, the subcategory, Hawaii Trip, we are simply going to go to File, Get Folders, Get Photos and Videos, From Files and Folders. I'll pull this up here so you can see this. We are going to go to Hawaii. And we're just going to simply click on the folder for Monday. Okay, once you do that, Make sure down here at the bottom, it says get photos from subfolders. Just to make sure that we're catching any subfolder that might be in this directory that you have under your Monday photos. Click on get media. And that's going to import those into our catalog. Okay, once you have everything selected, we're going to go to the Hawaii trip on the left and right click on it and click on create a new album. By doing this, you'll see over here on the far right, all those pictures are now within the new album. We don't have to create the album and drag those in. It saves a few steps. On here, we're gonna just simply type in Monday because I know these are Monday's photos for Hawaii. And we're gonna click on okay. Once you do that, you'll see now that now we have, if we go to vacations, 
that can pull up all of your pictures under your vacations. But we're simply going to go to Monday and you can see now that we have all those pictures only from the Monday folder on our hard drive. Let's talk one second, maybe two, about catalogs. People don't understand the catalog. A catalog is basically just a database. And you don't even have to really know what a database does or what it is. Just know this. It stores all the information about everything you import into your organizer. By doing this, we always have to protect the database. And I will show you that in another video. A lot of people I see on Facebook and in the Facebook groups on Photoshop Elements are having a lot of trouble um, installing new, you know, new versions of Photoshop Elements and not knowing how to move their, uh, their, their databases around or their catalogs around or their catalogs get slow and they don't know how to make a secondary catalog for another year. There's a lot I can tell you about catalogs. I'll show you that in another video. But thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editor editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Photoshop Elements TV. Bye for now.